two months into his 15-month prison sentence, former President Jacob Zuma has been placed on medical parole. In a statement released on Sunday afternoon, the Department of Correctional Services said the former statesman must comply with a specific set of conditions and will be subjected to supervision until his sentence expires. The move to place him on medical parole comes after he had spent almost a month in hospital. But what exactly does it mean to be released on medical grounds? You need to either be terminally ill, uh, physically incapacitated, or unable to actually care for yourself. Um, so, you know, provide basic health care as a self-care to yourself. So it's quite a limited um, area or aspects that you need to comply with. And in order for the National Commissioner to believe that there's a basis for it, typically what happens, what needs to happen, is that an independent medical parole advisory board uh, is appointed to consider um, whether or not you know it is justified for you to re receive medical parole and typically what happens as part of that process is while your doctors may make um, an application for you to be released as an inmate the the independent uh, medical parole board will itself send its own doctor to do its own evaluation to make sure that they are satisfied that there is a basis for your release Mr. Jacob Zuma is sentenced to undergo 15 months imprisonment. The Constitutional Court sentenced the ex-president to jail for contempt of court after he refused to testify before the State Capture Commission of Inquiry, chaired by Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo. He was forced to hand himself over to authorities on Wednesday, 7 July. The former statesman left his Nkantla household just after 11.15 when a convoy of security vehicles raced past supporters who had gathered here in breach of lockdown regulations. He was incarcerated at the Escort Correctional Centre. Violence spread in Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal in the days following his arrest. Mr. Zuma, who has steadfastly dodged his day in court for well over a decade. The DA's John Steenhuizen said the decision made a mockery of the Correctional Matters Amendment Act. His party will challenge the decision. Zuma's foundation welcomed the decision. Zuma's corruption trial was postponed to the 21st and 22nd of September. The Peter Maritzburg High Court has set down these two days to hear Zuma's special plea to remove State Advocate Billy Downer as prosecutor. Former President Jacob Zuma's lawyers have previously asked for a postponement of his corruption matter because of um, you know, his, his alleged ill health. During that application, which was successful, uh, the military head of the military services went on, you know, was uh, made various assertions contained in correspondence that was put before the court that the former president had um, an emergency medical condition which had required treatment for something like 18 months um, and had now sort of come to a head and required urgent um, intervention. Subsequently, we saw the department coming out, I think on the 15th of August, to say that uh, the former president had undergone an undisclosed um, emergency procedure. In those court papers, the, the head of the um, military services uh, hospital, you know, the the, the former president's medical team saying um, that he would require at least six months of treatment in order to recover fully from his current medical uh, condition, which he says um, poses a potential serious threat to the former president's life. Um, the state was dissatisfied uh, with what they contended was the vagueness of those assertions and they said they wanted a more comprehensive medical report which was provided to them. They also asked for an order by agreement with the defense that their own doctor be allowed to examine the former president. As we understand that has not happened but there is currently a process which the NPA has partly articulated in the media statement where they say um, that the postponement of the former president's corruption case will be to allow the, lawyer, the, the doctors for the former president and the state to 
interact over the evidence about his state his state of health you know at this point we don't know if the npa is going to uh maintain that they want their own independent doctor to examine the former president or whether this um consultation between these two teams is going to result in some kind of uh you know group decision with regards to his fitness to stay at stand trial and with regards to a potential postponement of the case um if he indeed is not fit to stand trial at this point Mr Zuma could I ask you to stand please It is not known how his ill health will impact the trial Given that he is currently hospitalized I think any um likelihood that he is going to go on trial in the near future is probably um not very high the real question mark is if this matter is going to be postponed for how long um and you know is the state going to is the state going to accept for example the kind of 6 months postponement that has been previously suggested in the court papers filed by the defense the medical parole advisory board found that his condition was stable and turned down a bid for release brought by Zuma's doctors correctional services boss Arthur Fraser an ex-spy head in the Zuma administration vetoed the board's recommendations and granted the former statesman parole.